guys, what's up? It's me, JC, and we are back to play another episode of The Last of Us. So I'm going to try to be as entertaining as I can today. I have had the worst migraine all day, and yesterday I was having some difficulties, so I actually didn't post a video last night, and I do apologize about that. But I am making sure to get something recorded tonight, even though I'm not feeling well, so... We'll get you guys taken care of, and we'll play another episode of The Last of Us here. How was your guys' Friday today? I know mine was good, because I didn't go to work. I don't work Fridays, but, you know, I'm, most people's general weekend is, you know, Friday, Saturday. Not, not, not everyone's, of course, but um, do you have any fun plans for the weekend? That's a possible thing. <laughs> My friend wanted to go see a movie today, but with my head not feeling too great, I wasn't really feeling up for it. So, you know, I guess there's always next time, though. Has anyone seen the movie Deadpool? That's the one that they wanted to go see. No, yes, no, maybe. I'm searching out here. Stick okay. over there. And we're getting right into it. Oh, I thought I was gonna get fucked. I'm busted, but uh, I wasn't. So now, where's the other guy? I can't see. Oh, I turned the brightness up, so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. Who's over there? I didn't do too hot there. I thought I had bullets. Uh, <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, this gun has bullets too, I mean, but uh, you know, whatever. It's pretty fucking dark in here. Can you move? Ooh, look at this, a uh, sexy, uh, what, a uh, orgy, I guess? I don't know if there's more than one person there or not. But, uh, I don't think anyone does. To be fair, I'm gonna go see if I missed any special tools or anything this way. Because I know that I was in a big hurry because my ass was getting chewed. Ooh. Can I get a rag too? No, okie dokie, that's cool, that's fine. Are they still there? Can I get out of here? No. <laughs> we can't leave, Joel. It seems like they're gone, though. You think? You know, actually, I don't know how the fuck they got in here. Did they drive all the way the fuck around to the other side and walk through this end of the cave? Like, I don't get it. How did they get here before we? Did, were they checking out the sewers beforehand or something? I don't know. Just, uh, food for thought. Oh, you look, uh, sexy. I mean, not really, but, um, maybe in my July. Ooh, what's this hallway go to? Reserved for faculty maintenance. Okie dokie. Oh, maybe they came this way. I can't get up there. Okie dokie dokie, okie dokie. <laughs> He's just like, I know that sound. Ooh, you now, fuck face. I'm 
sometimes there's things that are hidden and I just want to make sure that I'm getting all the supplies that I can because I'm already pretty fucked. You know what I mean. Ooh. Taking pills. I like drugs. Drugs are good. Just kidding. Drugs are bad, you guys. Don't take my word on that one. Drugs are bad. I've never been one for drugs, but um, in this game, they're great. Because they make you get more enhanced abilities and stuff like that, so, you know, whatever. There's anything hidden on these buses, or trains, or... Figure something out. Can I get up here? Nope. I'll go right under it, though. So Ellie can't swim. That's a vital part of the the actual game because you have to figure you know ways around her lack of ability to swim, which I think it'd be kind of cool to teach her to swim. But I mean, who am I to really say that that would be a cool idea? Top of this bus. It's really Early. murky. I'm fine. That was a really unassuring way to say you're fine. Are my subtitles still on? And you know. Hey, look, it still works. Ooh, nice dick guy. Oh, good. We're fucked. Um, what's this say? Oh, nothing apparently. You're not gonna leave me here, right? I might. But, I don't know. I'm kind of an asshole. Just kidding, I'm just cool. Okie doke, this is where I died. I went out of here now. I can't see. Just stay put. Oh, good. Ooh. I've never been here before. Ooh, firefly sign. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Can we, like, burn it? That'd be kind of cool. are seeing this okay oh, it looks okay on the camera screen I turned the brightness up because I noticed in some of the other videos that it was really freaking dark it's a ladder maybe we can use that so is anything else or anyone else sad that Tess died. I mean, I think it's a sad experience, but where am I, what am I doing? Where, why? Then. I don't know where you're at, Ellie, but get on this board. Get on. I wonder if I can dump her in the water. <laughs> Could not just be unfortunate. Game over. You just fucking killed her. Put her in the water. Here. Oh 
go. Here we go. How come I can't climb on this board? I don't get it. Like, what if I want to ride the board? What if I want to ride that wood? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, thank you so much. Let's see if there's anything you saw. Can I get up here anywhere or something? That'd be kind of cool. No. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Have you guys played this series before? Anybody? You know, I don't know why. I don't know why I ask questions because no one ever fucking answers. But, you know, it's still, you know, something to do, something to say. Oh, good. Someone left the gate open for us. Share. Run, run, Joel. And then boom, bad guys. Just kidding. Man, that mask is so dirty. How can I see out of there? Hey, look. Um, about Tess. I, I don't even know. Here's how this thing's gonna play out. You don't bring up Tess. Ever. Ever. In fact, we just keep our histories to ourselves. Secondly, don't tell anybody about your condition. They would think you're crazy or they'll try to kill you. And lastly, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Sure. Repeat it. What you say goes. Good. Uh, now there's a town a few miles north of here. There's a fella there that owes me some favors. Good chance he could get us a car. Okay. Let's get a move on. It's so beautiful. It's like a movie. <laughs> Apparently they're actually coming out. I think I've already said this though. They're coming out with the Last of Us movie. I've been looking for it. I've been keeping my ears peeled for it. Here we go. I'm really wanting to watch it. Yeah, it'll be faster to go through here. Man. What? Nothing. I can't even make a decision. I've never seen anything like this, that's all. In the woods? Yeah. Never walked through the woods. It's kind of cool. Okay. And then zombies! Why don't you just take me back to my room? She was up to the cops. Why'd she drop you off on us? Maybe she's better now. Okay, I don't mean you're sick, but your friend's chances of survival weren't too high to begin with. She's, she's got not helping me. She's playing with a knife. It doesn't matter. I doubt I can get either one of them back in the city in one piece. Trust me. I wish there were some other option. Say. Sometimes they have little interactions or little things that you can talk to them about. I just think it's so gorgeous in this game. I cannot wait for Naughty Dog's next game. It's the Uncharted 4, but I'm, I've said that before, of course. But it just looks so beautiful. If you haven't, seriously, if you haven't seen the graphics or taken a look at the actual game yet, you need to look at it. I'm gonna save it for my health. Because I'm dying quite a bit. How much is Shift Master? Is? Let's If you guys want to vote, you can vote for maximum health or weapon sway, which you think is more important. Also, I'm wondering if you could get like a, what's it called, a 
an achievement for like shooting an animal in the woods. I'm really curious. But I don't want to waste a bullet because I have two bullets. I want to try it so bad. Oh, I have five bullets on the shotgun. Well, let's try it. Nah, damn it. Not worth it. The bunny didn't die. I didn't get an achievement. I thought there'd be like a hidden achievement or something like that. I think I've gone over here already. No more trying to shoot animals. It doesn't do any good for me. This is the first time I've ever got lost in it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here's the path. This is so pretty. Like, jumped out of the way. Why on the top of we gotta find a way to go around? I could create something so cool and beautiful as this. No, yeah, not around here either. I just, uh, I want Naughty Dog to have so many more games, but I understand that making quality games, you know, it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy, and it's it's hard to really perfect things. And people are always gonna critic criticize. Oh God damn it! Criticize your artwork and your beauty, and it's it's really interesting to think about. Nice scissors, duct taped or tied to a fucking pole. Excellent. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know if any of you know what uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is. It's a uh, it's a it's a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, not zombie. Well, not zombie. Sorry, it's nothing to do with zombie. I don't know why. Whenever I think of an apocalypse game, I have to say the word zombie because <laughs> that's not the case. It is an apocalypse apocalypse game, though. No, I have not. I know this is where he lives, but. No, I ain't never been here, personally. And that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. Look at it. Come on. <laughs> right through the bar, nice. Nice one. But anyway, um, Horizon Zero Dawn is an apocalypse game. It's not a zombie apocalypse game. Uh, where basically the end of the world has taken place a very, very long time ago. And in this world, uh, machines have taken back the world. It's been, you know, thousand, I think at least a thousand years is what they were saying in like the prologue kind of thing or when they were talking about it. And there's these robot dinosaurs that have taken back the world. And the world has been, you know, pretty much rid of humans for a while. So, you know, the humans that have been left their cities have obviously fallen. They don't know anything about the cities. They, they live back very primitively, kind of like uh, cavemen or Indians. They, they lived very primitively. I do know that there's uh, caveman paintings or paintings in caves in some of the videos that I've seen for it. It just looks beautiful, and it's by Guerrilla Games. I am for sure going to be pre-ordering that game as soon as I can figure out 
when the hell it comes out. Good draw. But um, I know it's supposed to be out in 2016. Hopefully they don't, um, you know, progress or, or not progress, um, drag out the release dates for the game because I'm really wanting to play it. It's by Guerrilla Games. They've been working on this game for five years now. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Even for, if you think about it, back when five years, the graphics, or five years ago, the graphics were not that great. Let's be honest. The graphics look absolutely beautiful. It looks like a great game. And this looks like a great kitty. Oh, she's not happy with me. She's not happy with mommy moving her mom. But it looks beautiful and... You know, it's obvious that they've been working really hard on it, and they've been progressing the way that the graphics look and, and you know, feel and stuff like that over the years, because five years ago, graphics weren't as good as they are now. Obviously, it was 2011, you know, you wouldn't expect them to be great. But, um, it didn't move your butt. But they have been definitely working really hard on it, and it looks beautiful. Boom, right. <laughs> bitch. Is that a plastic bag on your head? Ooh. But, um,. No, for real. They, they've been going through and looking at it and, you know, going over the details and the graphics. You can, It's clear that they have, you know, it's beautiful. I can't wait to play, regardless. If you haven't seen anything about or heard anything about that game, you should look at that one up too. It's, it's just beautiful. I can't wait for that game. It's one of the ones that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, but anyway, those are, that's one of the most highly anticipated games for me in 2016. For sure, 100%. That and, you know, of course, um, Uncharted 4 I'm really looking forward to. There's just there's so many games that I really want to play. And I'm going to. I plan on it. So, question of the day then is, when did you learn how to whistle? I remember I learned how to whistle when I was in the first grade, and I can whistle really loud. I'm not going to do it here because I'm in my apartment and I don't want to make the neighbor mad. Reminder, collect more pills, see if I can scratch up some extra ammo. I only have three. Week three weeks until the next drop off with Tess. Well, you know, this, this, this person knew Tess, obviously. I'm presuming it's probably Bill. Which is Joel's friend that we're looking for right now. I don't want to jump that and die. Just one of the Let me up. I wish there's more secret areas. Who is this? A brick. Nice. Ooh. You might not get a vote, you guys. I 
I definitely have enough pills for something. Maximum health. More weapons way. I think health is really important because I'm fucking dying a lot. I think maximum or just the weapon sway is really important too because when you're trying to aim, like your gun moves all by itself. Like if you're looking at that little dot, it goes back and forth, back and forth. No matter what gun you use. Which makes it hard to control when you're shooting. But anyway. Jam from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. I almost said we can open it. Well, you can at least try. I'm not that fat. I know Tess said I had a fat ass, but come on. Don't be rude. God. I'm grateful. All right. <laughs> Here you put. All right. Now, just open it. Nothing else. Careful. She's so smart. I really like I really like Ellie. Okay. Ta-da. Why thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. We should probably close it so no zombies can in. But we can't, because we so can't close get a the card doors. from this buddy of yours. Then we die. Then we go find Tom. Marlene said he's your brother? The more important thing is a firefly. We know where to take him. Okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need a car. You know what I'm really baffled about and what I don't understand? Is how the fuck does Joel know where his brother, or Bill for that matter, live? Like, you don't have cell phones. You, you, you can't, I mean, what do you do, you, you just, you take your brother somewhere and fucking leave him and expect him to stay there, what if something, hey, what look. if, <laughs> gnomes, yeah, those are gnomes, man, I had an art book filled with this, I always thought they were super cute, <laughs> not fairies though, they creep me out, anyway, what I was saying is, what if some people came and, Ravage their camp and they have to leave. You're not gonna know where he's at. You know, some zombies could have taken over, infected, you know, whatever you want to call them, could have taken over and completely mauled everyone at the camp and they might not have been able to stay there. That's just, that's something that, that I think about every time he says that. It's just, how do you know that he's still there? You know, like, as an example, if any of you watched The Walking Dead, you would know this. You know, their camp has been raided and attacked so many times th to the point where people, you know, got separated. If they didn't know where they were unless they made, like, a, a specific plan. But what happens when that plan fails? You know, what if something happens in the place you thought was going to be safe? It was totally in the red zone or completely dangerous and astronomical and you're not able to go there that's yes, just this was one thing but I mean it's a video game of course so it is what it is it's gonna have its own little logic its own little mindset its own little ways of doing things but that's just one thing that gets me every time is you know the thoughts Would you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Nine who. Oh, what was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before keeping your head off. I'm never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. Well, let's plug it the fuck in. Just kidding, that's not gonna do anything.
You know, this looks like some perfectly good alcohol we could be using. Okay. Oh, hey. Ooh. Okay. I'll just go this way. It's cool. Oh, I can't jump off. Yeah. It's just so beautiful, though. I don't. I can't stop saying it. Every time that I see this game, it amazes me all over again. Because it's beautiful. I mean, it's a lot harder in this mode. Evacuate so weird. Rethinking. Quarantine zone. In some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. Man, must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That is the hard part. I'm trying really hard not to like interrupt them. But I mean this is the handiwork. I don't know, it's just him. Combination. But, um, yeah, this is the remastered version, so it's the one that was remastered and made specifically for the PlayStation 4. I got it with my PlayStation 4 on the little card thingy, and I never thought I'd redeem it because I've had it for PlayStation 3, but I was just like, you know, I don't really feel like hooking up the PlayStation 3 again. I have the PlayStation 4. And there's the left behind one, the little DLC. So, I figured that would be fun. Oh, I already have stuff to do stuff again. Well, crafting speed. That's important, but not as important as like the weapon sway, I think. My opinion. We already got in here. Yes. Sorry, Ellie. We'll go in circles. How long ago did it say? Ooh, six months ago. We'll get to save points. I don't know if this is a save point or not. I know inside the buildings are though. Mm. Look at this place. <laughs> I can play the drums. Oh god. Oh god, I broke it. Oh god, I ruined it. There's a prompt. I guess not. I'm great at playing the drums. You guys can see what's going on here. It's a bunch of junk. And a note. Uh, we want to read it. Goddamn infected. Showing up much too close to the church safe house looks like i'm going to need to do another round of clearing out weak spots of the perimeter a toilet plunger oh my god yes man this is kind of sad what is all this music that's just sitting here. No 
turns around and listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Okay, I think we looked at everything, so we're going to go this way. And... <laughs> Our friend what died. What the hell was that? Uh, be one of Bill's traps. A friend of paranoid, maybe? No, uh, that's pretty lightly. Deal with this guy. Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the city. He knows how to find things. Well, let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step, you'll be fine. Is it safe there? No, shit. I need to get to a save point so that way it doesn't um interfere with when we start up again next time. God damn it. I wanted to place it, not drop it. Pick it up again. And we just put the ladder through Ellie, so that's kinda cool. And she lived. So that's cool. But anyway, we picked up some bows, so that'll be fun. What? Zero? What do you mean, zero? Let me use that. Pretty good shot with that thing. I thought we just need this kind of stuff to move. Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. I think it's a decent idea. There we go, it's saved. Okie dokie. I'll do what I gotta do and then uh, Well, actually, it already saved, so I don't I'm just gonna make me do everything over again, so this video is a little bit longer than previous videos, so that's good. Uh, that'll help, you know, because I didn't post a video yesterday. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the series, or don't, or you can just watch them, you know, I don't care. I hope you guys are enjoying them at least a little bit. I'm um, gonna go ahead and make sure to post this immediately so you guys have a video tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys are enjoying the series. Like I said, it is one of my favorite games, actually, and by one of my favorite games, it is my favorite game. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you all have a good weekend. Uh, whenever your weekend is. If it's Friday, Saturday, if it's Sunday, if it's on a Wednesday and a Thursday. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day, good weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.